Hi everyone, it's Leela from Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to be doing the Lip Drip Tumbler Part 2. If you don't know already, I am participating in a collaboration with five other YouTube creators. We have received this custom decal from Taylor from Duncan Custom Airbrush. And the challenge was to create a tumbler using the Dawn dish soap method and adding this decal. As most of y'all know, I did post a tumbler using this decal and I did a double drip effect. So I did kind of the peekaboo. I will have that posted in my description below. And now I'm going to show y'all the Dawn power wash method like you guys actually wanted. So my bad, that was my misunderstanding, but it works out for everybody because I get to create not only one, but two tumblers using both of these decals from Taylor from Duncan Custom Airbrush. And if you don't know, uh, it's not only Duncan Custom Airbrush, but it's also Flynn Sisters Boutique, Mr. Nola's Glitter, Sandy's Organized Chaos, and the Purple Stitch. We're all participating in this challenge and all of their videos or YouTube channels will be posted in my description below. So let's get started with this tumbler. So what you see on frame is going to be my 25 ounce barrel tumbler. And I did kind of a peekaboo effect. So I did a glitter base and then I hydro dipped this using uh, easy marble paint. I do have a tutorial on this cup right here. So I will be posting that in my description below. Be sure to check that out to go through these steps so you can have this tumbler in front of me. So what I'm going to be doing is, I know a lot of people, they like to do the power wash first and then they add the decals. Well, I'm going to do it kind of opposite. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding the decal on the tumbler and then I'm going to be adding the power wash. Now, of course, on a regular tumbler that's not already decorated, this step is so easy and it makes your power wash a lot simpler. Meaning, let's say I have this tumbler, I spray paint it, I put my decal on, and then I'll epoxy it. After I epoxy it, that's when I'll do the power wash and then epoxy it again. So it saves some time and it kind of makes it easier laying the decal on and then covering up that decal with the power wash. This tumbler tumbler is completely cured. The epoxy's hard, so I glittered it, I epoxied it, I did my peekaboo hydro dip, and now I'm going to take my decal and then place it on my tumbler. Since this is a rounded surface, this might take me uh, a little longer to place on here. Um, I'm just going to kind of roll it on the tumbler, just so I don't get any bubbles or creases on the decal. I've placed my decal on my tumbler. You can see it looks really nice here. And now for my next step, I'm just going to put a thin layer of epoxy on my tumbler. So this is a 25 ounce, so I'll probably use about 10 to 12 milliliters of epoxy. So that's about five to six mLs of part A and five to six mLs of part B. I'm going to fast forward through this part. If you do need assistance on how to epoxy a tumbler properly, I will be adding a list of beginner help tutorials for all my beginner crafters. Welcome back everybody. My tumbler is completely cured with the epoxy over the decal. For my next step, I'm going to take my spray paint and my Dawn dish soap and then we're gonna head outside and then I'm going to do the spray power wash method. The spray paint that I'll be using today is from Rust-Oleum. It is a gloss. Um, the color is coral. I would prefer a matte or a satin finish, but I really like this color, so I wanted to use this with this tumbler, so I'm just going to use the gloss. The reason why I would recommend a matte or a flat, it's just easier for the epoxy to stick to the tumbler, but I have a lot of epoxy and I prepped this tumbler properly, so the gloss should be okay. Let's go outside and spray this tumbler. Okay guys, I'm back with my tumbler. 
and I have my spray paint. Make sure you have your spray paint, you have your Dawn Power Wash, and you have your hose ready to go. Those are the three things that you're going to be needing for this step. Before you spray your Power Wash on your tumbler, you can go ahead and give it a quick mist to make sure it does spray properly and just to get an idea of how it sprays. As most of y'all already know uh, how to do this process, you spray it with the Power Wash and then you spray paint it and then you're going to wipe it down with the water. So since I've already decaled this, I am going to spray this with a power wash first and I'm going to make sure I spray all over the decal. So I'm just going to spray it and make sure the decal is covered. So whenever I spray that spray paint, I'm going to have the decal uh, show. So now I'm just going to spray it randomly around the tumbler, take my spray paint and go ahead and spray paint it with the spray paint. And I want a nice coat, especially since there's already a design on this tumbler. You wanna make sure you get a nice coat of spray paint. And if you have kind of a peekaboo effect uh, with the um, design underneath the spray paint, that's fine too. Then I'm just going to get the top there. And then you're going to take your hose and you're going to spray it right off. And look, that is such a nice power wash spray. You could see I have some on the back, I got some on the bottom, all around the tumbler. It gives it a really fun effect. Now, if you are unhappy with this, what you can do is just go ahead and wipe down this tumbler, dry it off, re-spray it with the power wash, and then re-spray paint it. Another thing is you can see I got some spray paint on the tumbler lips. So you can see I got it a little bit over the decal. Whenever I go inside, what I'm going to do is just take 91% alcohol um, and just wipe that down. If that doesn't work, then you can use acetone and just lightly wipe that down because you don't want to wipe down that epoxy. You just want to uh, wipe it down with the acetone and that spray paint should come right up. I'm gonna go ahead and head back inside to remove that paint. I'm back inside with my tumbler. I did use the acetone to remove some of that excess spray paint on top of the decal. And I just wanted to show y'all in the light, this tumbler is so cute. I really love how this turned out. Again, my video for my Hydro Dip tumbler will be in my description below. So if you wanna know how I created this Peekaboo Hydro Dip tumbler, go ahead and check that video out first and then come back to this video to check this one out as well. And as you know, the next step for this tumbler is to epoxy it. So I would put about 20 to 25 milliliters of epoxy on this tumbler. Uh, I don't need a lot of epoxy. I'm just doing it just to seal in that uh, spray paint. The spray paint isn't really thick. I already have about three coats of epoxy on here, so I just want it to be really thin. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to help you create something beautiful and inspire you with these decals. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Tumblr and craft videos. I'll see y'all next time.